Good morning guys, welcome back to show back to another video and in today's video we're gonna be pretty much Well, the first thing we gotta do is actually put together my watch But the second thing we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, get the 335 IS down to the frame shop So we got the truck. It's finally been lifted. I'll show you guys the truck in a little bit We lifted the truck put some new wheels on it. It looks pretty cool We even got the proper tow hitch to so actually tow as well um, So yeah, let's actually go down the U-Haul real quick and just get our trailer Just washed the truck and I already ruined it again just because I don't like how this U-Haul has their trailers on the mud, but it is what it is. We got the U-Haul in the back of the truck. Let's head over to my dad's place and pick up the 335 IS. Guys, it is raining so hard right now. Oh, buddy. All right, let's go, let's go. I need to move my brother's car out of the way so we can get the IS on the trailer. I need to get a jacket. Oh, buddy, what is this? Uh, all I found was a hat and I'm wearing this. <laughs> well, Clearly you guys can see I'm still in the summer vibes. My stomach's about to hurt. I might probably have to go to the bathroom after this. Probably too much information. But anyway, let's go ahead and move my brother's car out of the way so we can get the 335 IS a direct slight, like pretty much a direct, uh, how do you say it? Direct whatever into the trailer. <laughs> The things we do for cars, guys. <laughs> All right, cars on the trailer. Let's head down to West Sacramento. ever gonna tow in the rain this is super sketch the car is actually sliding onto the like sliding on the trailer back and forth a little bit not too much but little by little because I can tell it moved and then on top of that the, the trucks barely breaking in this rain especially we got mud terrain tires oh what am I doing today wish me luck guys it's probably the sketchiest drive I've ever done in my life in any car so hopefully this thing just gets to the body shop pray for me guys and it looks like I'm gonna have to get out again we are out of gas oh buddy <laughs> Just fueled up, we got our drink. <laughs> Let's head down to the body shop, guys. three accidents police literally all over the highway this is like the first day of rain here in at least sacramento county and uh, i guarantee you there's a lot of people that have not been like the first day of rain people have not been like used to this so obviously people have been driving a little harder than usual in the rain and uh yeah resulted in multiple accidents and lots of police on the highway your man decided to do a challenge and uh, get mud terrain tires which are actually performing really well these are uh rough countries mud terrain tires and guys I have not slipped anywhere, not even towing. I haven't had any slipping. I haven't had any sliding or anything. Like these tires for mud terrain are absolutely amazing. So they look good, but they also function really good. Surprisingly in the rain, I haven't, I mean, fingers crossed, I haven't had any issues so far. So again, shout out to Rough Country for that. Yes, we officially arrived. The challenge is complete. We towed on a lift kit with mud terrain tires. And uh, yeah, we have a car in our back and so far so good, not gonna lie. So God bless. We are right around the corner to my boys Antonio 
Tito's shop. So let's stop by him. Hopefully we can unload this pretty easily and uh, just give him the keys. We do have the new radiator support in the bed of this truck. So we'll be able to give him that as well. And then hopefully when I get back in a day or two, we should be able to pick this up with the frame good to go. And we should be able to reassemble literally everything. I am super hyped for this. All right, guys, wish me luck. I'm going to get the car off the trailer. I have nowhere to set the camera. So just, yeah, wish me luck that everything gets off easily. So three, two, one. Just got on the car. I'm going to give him this radiator support. He says he actually needs the fender hood and the headlights and the bumper to align everything. So we might have to make a second trip over here, but I might go home, drop off the trailer and come back and just get everything else to throw it in the trunk uh but for now let's just go ahead and give him this and uh see if those guys over there got a fender because i really need a fender guys right when i was about to take off i felt something a little weird we had a flat on a u-haul trailer oh buddy can this day get any worse let's go i'm gonna go ahead and head around the corner see if they have the part if they don't have the part i'm gonna call u-haul see what i should do guys it would be as soon as i finish up all my work uh <laughs> the sun just comes out <laughs> Um, anyway, we do have one flat. I looked up online and if it has one of the two wheels that are flat, technically you can still drive on it um, because the other one is still good and I'm not having any cars on the trailer. I have about a 20 minute drive. Instead of waiting for a U-Haul, uh, you know, assistance support, I'm just going to go drive straight to U-Haul. Wish me luck. I'm going to drive about 30 miles an hour on the highway or 40 miles an hour on the right lane uh, just to be safe. But uh, whew, what a day. What a day, boys. I'm officially back home. I actually took a shower and I just headed out. I need to find somebody locally who's selling a fender. So I'll keep you all posted uh, as soon as I get a fender. And then as soon as I get that fender, I need to get the bumper, the two headlights, and the hood from my other place and then take it down to the body shop, drop all that stuff off. I'm heading right now in the meantime to kill some time while I'm searching uh, to the DMV office to register the 335 IS. I at least get the registration started. Uh, so uh, yeah, the car's under my name and everything's gravy in the Navy day. Plus I don't want any back fees for registering it late. Got my folder, let's head to the DMV. Just pulled up to iRegs and registration. Their contact information is gonna be down below. Again, I always come to these guys to get all my registration done. They do have a small fee, but it makes life so much easier. I don't have to wait a couple hours in line. I literally get in and out probably like 15, 20 minutes, which is so nice when we're getting car registration done. And we're back, guys. I just got a few moving permits for the car, which is perfect. And the only thing we're gonna need is smog certificate. So once we get the car ready to go, we just have to smog it. We should be good to go, which is pretty awesome. That is the benefit of actually getting a car totaled from like someone on Craigslist or off road because you honestly don't have to go through any other inspection other than smog, which is amazing. So now that we have these documents here, it was a hefty, hefty registration because it had a couple years back fees. Um, I thought if I show a non-op operation document that will waive those fees, but it will not waive those fees. If your car is behind by a year or two years in, uh, in registration, you're going to be paying a buttload in registration costs. So it is what it is. There was a way to get around this if I waited till like January to register because the non-op is until January. But since I'm registering it in the time period that it was on non-op so technically i'm paying for the current year i had to pay for the full year you don't just pay for half a year you pay for a full year so anyhow long story short we got all this stuff situated i think now is a good time to head down to my house get the rest of the stuff for the car like the hood the other headlights all that other stuff loaded into the trunk and then go get that fender because we need to get a fender as well ten dollars later oh my god i hate gas <laughs> 110 dollars later guys uh we are heading on our way to get the fender and just like that guys we ended up getting a fender i don't know is e92 fender supposed to be plastic because this thing's plastic um that's kind of sad if e92 fenders are actually plastic it feels really cheap i mean come on i mean I, the e90s are metal so let me know guys down below is this thing aftermarket or is the oem ones actually plastic that's kind of sad i'm not gonna lie but anyways got a fender let's head home get the hood uh get the headlights and get the other parts and just got home guys this thing is such a trooper shout out to these tires as well good for mud flat uh for mud terrain tires guys i've owned these i've owned tires that are mud trains before and i have zero traction in the rain this thing performed really good even when it was raining as well so that was absolutely amazing i love this setup this is also six inch lift i don't know if you guys know in my last video or a couple videos ago um i did actually post building this truck in 10 minutes so for those of you guys who actually missed that i did a full transformation on this thing i literally fully built it so if you guys want to check it out make sure to check out that build a Nissan Titan in 10 minute video or something like that. Link's gonna be down below.
below. But yeah, guys, I'm absolutely loving this truck. I had a 2014 F-150 EcoBoost FX4, had all the good stuff, but honestly, other than the interior, that truck sucked like really sucked, like fuel economy sucked, towing sucked, it literally was struggling and everything, I blew a turbo, uh, transmissions leaking because of, uh, it started overheating, then it started leaking, we got all those stuff situated before we sold it, but honestly, for a newer truck, I just assumed it would tow better. As for now, the Nissan Titan did absolutely amazing, it towed today as well, even in the rain, even with a flat trailer, so God bless, nothing actually went wrong, I'm super happy with that. Without further ado, we do have our hood back there, let's go ahead and get the hood in the trunk, we have the bumper right there, uh, we need to get the hood latches, and. Uh, just a couple other things. Let's go ahead and get all that stuff in the truck. Now that we're fully loaded up, guys, let's finally take this stuff back to the body shop. We have the extra headlight right over here, um, the fender headlight. I have one of the other headlights in the trunk already of the car, so we're good to go on that. I got a hood latch. I put it in the center console, and then now we have the hood in the bumper. So this is going to be fully assembled. When we get it back, uh, I'm going to have to disassemble it to reattach everything and reassemble it. But yeah, guys, this hood is a special hood. I got this hood from Sauvignier, so huge special shout out to them. This is going to be an absolutely amazing addition to the car. This is the original bumper. I got it in black. I'm hoping the paint's in good shape. We're going and check it out once you actually get to the frame shop. The fender's definitely gonna have to get repainted. And again, guys, it's plastic normal because this thing feels really cheap, but I'm hoping uh, that's how it's supposed to be. And we are back at Antonio's. Oh, buddy, guys. Finally got all the parts loaded up. Let's go ahead and unload these bad boys. We got the IS just chilling there. <laughs> And before pulling back up into the house, guys, this is our third stop. I am just topping it off right now because we're heading off to LA tomorrow for some family stuff. It's gonna be a very short trip, so don't worry, guys. We're not gonna be missing anything. It's still gonna be the every other day upload, so do not worry. But uh, yeah, gotta top it off because it's a long trip tomorrow. And my fuel gauge doesn't work, and I'm trying to save as much money as possible. The V8 in this current economy is just terrible. Like literally $5 a gallon everywhere, $6 a gallon. I don't know what our president is doing. But I guess it's a good time to actually conclude the video, guys. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we got everything dialed in. The 335 IS is officially gonna be registered as soon as we get this thing to pass smog. Uh, the IS is at the shop now. We got all the panels over there. I told him I might as well just paint it all while it's all over there. So uh, align the frame, paint everything, make it perfect. We have still the parts coming in for the 335 IS in terms of the curtain airbag, a couple other little miscellaneous things in the front. I found out that the actual rim in the back is actually bent. We might need to get another rim or repair the rear rim because the rear rim looks pretty good. It is slightly bent apparently, so I might have to just get that repaired. But any of you guys, this is just a very, very long day of me running a bunch of errands. Days like this happen all the time. I just honestly stopped recording it because I, I just figured you guys don't want to see it. Let me know if you guys want to see pretty much a day in the life of me just getting stuff done, running a bunch of errands. This is behind the scenes of all the videos that I end up doing. So yeah, today was just a very, very big day and I was like, you know what? Might as well document it all and uh, yeah, thankfully everything was great in the Navy. We accomplished everything we wanted to accomplish today. So it's a good day. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul.